on the programming front, looking out into the future, how much programming do you think humans will be doing five, 10 years from now? Uh, I mean, a lot, but I think it'll be in a very different shape. Like, you know, maybe some people program entirely in natural language. Entirely natural language. I mean, no one programs like writing bytecode. I mean, some people, no one programs the punch cards anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you can find someone who does, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of angry comments. No, no. Yeah, there's very few. I've, I've been looking for people who program Fortran. It's hard to find, even Fortran. I, I hear you. But that changes the nature of what the, sk- the skill set or the predisposition for the kind of people we call programmers then. Changes the skill set. How much it changes the predisposition, I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, same kind of puzzle solving, Maybe. all that kind of stuff. You know, programming is hard. It's like how get like that last 1% to, to close the gap, how hard is that? Yeah, I think with most other cases, the best practitioners of the craft will use multiple tools and they'll do some work in natural language and when they need to go you know, write C for something, they'll do that. Will we uh, see humanoid robots or humanoid robot brains from OpenAI at some point? At some point. How important is embodied AI to you? I think it's like sort of depressing if we have AGI <laughs> and the only way to like get things done in the physical world is like to make a human go do it. Mm-hmm. So I, I really hope that as part of this transition, as this phase change, we also get uh, we also get humanoid robots or some sort of physical world robots. I mean, OpenAI has some history, quite a bit of history working in robotics. Yeah, but it hasn't quite like done in we're, terms of we're emphasis. We're like a small company. We have to really focus. And also, <laughs> robots were hard for yeah. the wrong reason at the time. But like, we will return to robots at, in some way at some point. That sounds both inspiring and menacing. Why? Because immediately we will return to robots. It's uh-huh. kind of like in like and like, like terminate. We will return to work on developing robots. We will not like turn ourselves into robots. Yeah. Of course. Yeah.